Hi, I'm Susan Whitey. I'm the Oklahoma Publications Librarian at Oklahoma Department of Libraries. I'm creating this recording for you uh, to give you some quick and easy steps to find statistics and information about the hard to count populations for census 2020 um, so that you can use this for your own uh, promotion and maybe even applying for our grants. So there are lots of tools out there to do this, to find different kinds of maps, to find the hard to count people in your area. Um, but the one I think is easiest to use is the census uh, hard to count maps, which I guess kind of makes sense. So I'm going to show you how to use that. Uh, first, let's start with the URL, how to find it. I'm going to share that URL with you. It's um, the census hard to count maps 2020.us. Um, you can, uh, we're going to switch over now and uh, see the page itself. This is what it should look like when you get to that URL. The first step I would take is to come over to this bottom right corner, go to map overlays and turn on the libraries. So when we get into detailed areas, you will see your library come up. And then the next step is to use this plus or a tool for zooming in and we will zoom into an area in Oklahoma. I have just selected the Haskell County as one of the hard to count areas that we might look at. I'll keep zooming in. As we get closer, like I said, you'll see the libraries pop up. You'll see smaller sections of the county that we call census tracts. So this is what it will look like. You can see the libraries in the area. And then I'm going to click on this census tract because it's very dark red, which means it's going to be one of the harder to count areas. And I'm going to try to get some information about the people there and why they may be hard to count or not responding at a higher rate. So on the left hand side, you may have noticed it changes on depending on what I've clicked on. So uh, you can see their census rate uh, response rates in the past. Um, what's expected maybe of the percentage of who will pop, who will participate in the 2020 census. And right now it's set on internet access at home for more information about this little area that's outlined there in dark red. Um, it tells me that 34.9% uh, of this area, the census tract had no home internet. That's clearly gonna be an issue if they want to participate online and maybe your library can help by off internet access. Um, I can also click on this blue bar on the left to get other information like who's the at-risk population for this census tract and it's going to tell me a little bit more about some high-risk racial ethnicities um, and for this area it looks like there's a small number of Hispanic, there's a small number of people who identify as black, but your larger percentage of probably at-risk people are Native Americans, your 24% in this area. So for your own area, you would zoom in, find your library, look at the census tracts, you can click on the different ones and play with the different information. Um, this changes on the left-hand side, depending on what you choose. And that one just like that. So hopefully these steps um, will make it easy for you to find that information uh, just to have. It's very valuable to know about as you go into the census, but also hopefully to apply for our grants. Thanks.